This is Nicole Hahn from Mini Matisse. And I was looking at starting a project right um, with my seventh grade on Noten, the idea of Japanese composition. And I started by looking at Pinterest here and started a board on Pinterest, looking at the different examples that I've seen out there from other teachers. Um, I also wanted to know if I could not only do a physical piece, but if I could do a digital piece. So I typed that in and I found uh, Chris mm, Fontes, I think is how you say her name, her project. And she gave me a little insight of how her students work on this. She suggests ages 9, 10, and 11, up to 12 years of age. Uh, that's perfect for me. So I looked at her digital noten and I noticed that she is using Photoshop. Um, I also looked at another person here from digital art uh, education and noticed that they had some wonderful examples but I didn't have a real clear idea of what program they use. I talked to my husband who's a tech ed teacher and he suggested using Sumo Paint. So I'm going to show you after working on this for a total of 15 minutes how to use Sumo to create a, a digital uh, Noten piece of artwork. So I'm going to start here by looking for an image and I looked, uh, used Google Images. I'm uh, trying to find a medium size image so I made that specification here and this one looks great. What you want to do is get the full size image. You need the URL for this so I copied that and I'm going back into my Sumo. Once I'm in Sumo I need to um, add this picture in. So I'm going to go file. Oh, maybe I'm going to do this. Uh, import to layer from URL. So file import to layer from URL. And when I click on that it should open up a URL for me. We'll try that one more time. Figured out what I needed to do here. I need to go new image so that I have a new image. Okay, learning this as we go here. File, import from URL. Then I'm going to paste my URL there. I think I did that twice. I only want that once. Open. It's going to load my image in here. Now, two tools that Mr. Han taught me was the lasso tool and I'm going to use that for majority of this. Now this is uh, to make more of an organic shape. You want to go to the edge of your image and here I'm just kind of making my organic shape along here. And I want to go back off the edge and then connect to the beginning. It'll look something like this. The other tool that he told me to use was free transform or rot rotator tool. So you'll click on that. That's going to highlight your design that you just created or that shape that you just created and you'll grab the box over here and flip it so that you get that shape but just opposite. Now I can pull this shape off to the side and line it up the best that I can with the original image. See how you have your, um, your symmetrical shape that you have just created? I'm going to click on my little triangle here, move tool, so that I am not rotating my design anymore. A another thing that I learned with the lasso <coughs> is that you can create a, or a, or a more a geometric shape by clicking up here. So what I'm doing is clicking along here and I want you to give this a try to really get a feel for it. Again, creating that shape. Double click. Oop, I'm going to try that again. All right. So now that I have that shape, I'm going to do my transform or my rotator tool. Transform that to the other direction. Grab a hold of it again and place it in. Triangle gets me off from all my tools. So I want you to do a noten using a digital format and see what we end up with. See how this can change um, the project that we're working on in class. Give it a try. This is Nicole Hahn from Mini Matisse 
and I am just going to share a couple of things that I discovered about Sumo Paint. First, I want to bring you to something called Sumo uh, FM. And this allows you to log in to an account. So I'm going to say sign in. And I can sign in using Facebook or using Google. If you're a student at RMS, I want you to sign in to your Google account and log in with your Google. Go ahead and allow. And what this is going to do is register you a little bit um, on Sumo so that you can start saving things right on Sumo. All right, once again, I'm finding an image, and we're going to do our uh, Norton design again. So I found an image off from Google Images. A medium size works the best. And now I'm going to come over here, add a layer from URL. I just copied that from Google and imported it right into um, my page here. Now, if I want to change the size, up here I discovered that you can change the size of your image so that you can get more detailed or um, see what it looks like overall. And I'm going to go right up to a corner right now. That has helped me get a little bit more detailed with what I'm creating. I'm going to use my lasso again and come down and make my drawing and you can get real intricate now um, because we have such a uh, close view on our image. So I'm going around and drawing some interesting designs, a nice organic shape, coming back to the beginning and ending my shape. Now I discovered this here. If I say minus, I can add a second shape inside. So now I'm using a more geometric lasso tool. And creating that shape. Now when I go to move my tool right down here and, um, and I flip it, that one that I minus is going to stay. I also discovered this, this little dot right here. If I take and move that to the edge of my image, when I go ahead and flip it, that's where it stays, the edge. And I don't have to realign my image at all. So notice how the, the part that I said minus remains there and the other part gets to be flipped. I thought those were cool tools to use. So using this dot and using the minus tool when you go to lasso, the one right up here, those are two new tools that you might want to add on. Again, if I want to see the overall look right now, I can re um, make this image a little bit smaller and see how it's turning out. I thought these were cool. I wanted to share them with you.